are doing a core class today. Um, so it is going to be Pilates. If you haven't done Pilates before, give it a try with me today. Uh, it's not going to be an hour class. It's going to be about 25 minutes or so. So don't worry, I'm going to guide you through um, whether or not you've done yoga or Pilates before. Just uh, let's give it a go. So I did grab myself a hand towel today. So if you can grab yourself one of those and I'm just kind of folding it in half and then in half again. And then I'm just gonna roll this up. So I've got a little, or I guess a big burrito <laughs> of a towel here. And we're gonna bring ourselves down to lie down on our backs. And so just settling in into a nice neutral spine here. And if you need a little bit of lift, you can just take that blanket roll and bring it underneath your head. In a moment, we're gonna be bringing that between the knees, but if you don't have anything, it's totally fine. So we're gonna start just by bringing some awareness to our spine here. So you can rest the hands wherever it's comfortable for you. I'm gonna try and keep them out of the way so you can maybe see what's going on with my spine a little bit. So in Pilates, something that we do is, uh, something that we do often is called the neutral spine, meaning we've got our natural curve of our back. We're not flattening that, but we're also not exaggerating that arch. So we're just gonna move through all those different uh, motions right now. So I'm moving my arms out to the side so you can see a little bit more, but you guys can bring your hands down by your hips. So as we exhale here, we're just going to tuck the tailbone under. That's going to flatten the back. So now I've got no space between my back and the mat, and I'm tucking my tailbone under. And then as I inhale, I'm gonna move through neutral and I'm gonna do a great big arch. Big stretch there. Exhale to tuck it under and flat it. And then inhaling to arch. And we're just gonna do that two more times. Exhaling to tuck, this is what we call the imprint. And then inhaling to arch. One more, exhale to tuck it under and then inhaling to arch, good. And then this next time that we do that tuck, what we call that imprint, we're just gonna bring a little bit of core activation in. So finding that, and then arch and release that go, uh, that again. And then once more, we're gonna exhale to tuck that under, hollow and scoop the belly, I'm drawing my belly in tight, and then arch. And then from here, I'm finding that neutral spine again. So I'm not tucking, I'm not arching. I've got that little bit of space underneath my back. So I can just get my fingertips, not my full arm under there. Another way to check that, if you lift your head up, and if you've got a seam on the front of your pants or your leggings, you're thinking about that being parallel to the ceiling, not tipping up towards the ceiling or down. But nice and flat here as best you can. A little bit of space. From here now, I'm going to take that blanket roll, or sorry, that towel roll, and bring that between my knees and squeeze. And then rest the head back down. Might need to bring a little bit more length to the back of the neck. If that doesn't feel great, maybe you do need a little something uh, underneath your head as well. So that's fine. And now we're just getting a nice squeeze here as we exhale. I'm staying in my neutral spine, draw the belly in. And then inhale into the Exhale, I squeeze that towel between the knees. I draw the belly in. And then inhale to release. We'll do that two more times. Exhale to squeeze. We're not getting too crazy with our breath or activation today. I'm just kind of thinking about bringing in the belly as a whole. Exhale to draw the belly towards the spine while maintaining the neutral spine. So I'm not tucking or arching here. One more here, exhale to squeeze. Inhale to release. Hands are down by the hips. From here, as we inhale, we're gonna float those arms towards the, well, towards the back of the room, top of your mat. Now, as you do that, I'm focusing on not popping the ribs up or arching the back, but maintaining that neutral spine. Keep squeezing the blanket for your towel. Exhale to press those hands down by the hips, squeeze the belly more. Inhale to float those arms towards the ears and exhale to bring it back down. Don't worry about touching the uh, hands down onto the floor. Sometimes when we do that, it'll kind of get floppy and relax. And I really like nice, strong, active arms. Exhale to press that down. 
Let's go for two more here. Inhale, float that back. Exhale, press it down like you're pulling down a strong weighted bar. Inhale here, reach it back. Exhale, press it down. Good. And then from here, we're going to remove that um, towel or blanket. And we're gonna just go for some alternating tabletop legs. Here you might choose to bring your hands up to the hip creases, and we're gonna really try to work through the core as much as we can, not only going through the hip flexors or the psoas. So if you just lift your legs up without thinking about it, you might feel those hip flexors kind of fire up, almost like a tight elastic band in the hip creases there. Now we're gonna try and find a place that we're bringing the core in so the hip flexors don't have to work so much. Let's bring the knees and feet together. We're going to inhale to prepare. I'm maintaining my neutral spine and then exhale with that core activation to lift that right leg up to tabletop position. Inhale to slowly float that foot back down. Exhale, lift the left leg up. Use that belly strength. Inhale to float it down. Exhale to lift it up. Inhale to lower. Exhale, squeeze the belly to lift. Inhale down. Let's go for four more. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Draw that belly and we're just warming things up right now. Good. All right. So from here, we're going to lift both legs up to tabletop position. And sometimes you need to kind of readjust a little bit here. I'm going to inhale to reach the arms towards the back of the room. And then exhale, press those arms down towards the hips. Squeezing the knees together, squeeze the feet together, point through your toes. If this is too much for you, bring one foot down. Or you can just go back to both feet down. We're going to go three more here. Last one. Good. From here, go ahead and hug your knees into the chest. Just rock a little bit side to side. And then from here, we're coming up to an ab curl. Now you can always choose to miss the, uh, to leave the ab curl out. You can just keep your head down on the ground or rest your head down back onto your towel or blanket if you like. Otherwise, go ahead and lift that head on up, relax through the shoulders. I'm bringing my chin slightly towards the chest. You can almost imagine like you're holding a little tangerine underneath your chin. Those of you that know me know that I use a lot of fruit imagery <laughs> in our classes. Let's point through those toes, draw those knees in towards the chest. From here as you inhale, straighten out through that left leg. So a higher leg will be easier, a lower leg's gonna be harder, so you decide where you wanna take that. We're squeezing our hands to either side of that right knee, fingertips up. Remember, you can always rest your head down, higher leg is easier. Exhale, change your leg, so I'm just gonna kind of show a modified version right now. Finding that core activation, this is what we call our single leg stretch. Let's exhale today as we straighten each leg. Classically in Pilates, we inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Remember, head can be up. Maybe you start to bring the legs lower now. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. From here, go ahead and bring your hands behind your head. If the head is lifted, otherwise head is down, and just into some bicycle legs. Trouble 
doing a full sit up or a roll up, this can be useful. Let's grab that towel roll or blanket roll and bring that back between the knees again, squeezing, just getting a little bit of inner thigh activation. Holding behind the backs of those thighs, and now we're coming into that imprint. So that's that tuck of the tailbone, right? That feeling like, remember when we were flattening our back to the mat? So that's where we're going here. You can choose to keep the hands here behind the knees as we start to lower, sliding the hands down, and then lifting up. And notice I'm staying rounded and curved the whole time. Hollow and scoop the belly. You can also choose to reach those arms forward. Inhale to go back a bit. Exhale to come up, staying rounded. We're going for four, three, two. Find that core activation. Get those hip flexors out of it. One, hold it there. For four, three, two, 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 two. two. Ooh, and one. Yeah. All right, bring the soles of the feet together. Just open up the length in your spine a little bit here. And then we're going to bring ourselves back down to our backs. You can pull behind those thighs and roll it down. So now we're going to bring the hands underneath the head again. We're going to lift the legs up and then we're bringing the heels together, toes apart. The knees are opening. So this is what we call Pilates stance. I'm making a letter V shape with my feet and my knees are turning out the same amount as my toes. Keep flexing through the feet. As you exhale, start to send the legs up towards the ceiling, draw the belly in. Inhale to release. Exhale, press it up. Inhale down. Option to stay right here. Remember the legs don't need to fully straighten, that's fine. If you want to step it up a notch, we're gonna add on an ab curl. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders. Inhale down. For four. Three. Two. One. Hold it up. Open up the feet. You can soften the knees. Reach those arms. Pulse. Four, three, two, and crisscross. Back to center. You can always support your head with one hand if you need to. Four, three, two, one. Woo. Keep those legs up. We're not dropping down yet. One more thing here. So come back to those tabletop legs. Now we're going to do some toe taps. So we're going to inhale to reach those right toes down towards the floor. Exhale to lift it up. Inhale, reach those left toes towards the floor. Exhale to lift. Find that neutral spine. Draw the belly in. You don't have to totally touch the ground. That's totally fine. So here I imagine like I'm dipping my toes in a pool of water. Inhale down, exhale up. Lots of different ways we can work with the breath. This is what we're working with today. Inhale down, exhale up. We're going for four, three, two, and one. Good, let's bring that right foot down to the mat. Cross the left ankle over top of the right knee. Just open up here a little bit. And then we'll bring our hands back behind the head. And then we're just gonna get a little bit of a twist. So not classical Pilates, we're kind of mixing things up a little bit here today. But we're just gonna reach that right elbow towards that left knee. Inhale to lower. Exhale up. Exhaling with each twist. for two more. Good. Plant that foot back down. We'll cross that other leg over, right ankle over, and then exhale to twist. Keep 
keep opening up the, that right knee towards your left toes. For three, two, one. Back up to your tabletop legs. Option to lift your head if you like. Bicycle legs again. Try to open the elbows more this time. Wide elbows. Maybe reach those arms up to the ceiling for four, three, two, one. Reverse. Woo. Remember, you can always rest your head down. Maybe bring those arms out wide for three, two, one. Rest. Hug those knees into the chest. Good, coming into another classical exercise, we're gonna do the single straight leg stretch. So we're gonna hold behind the calf or the thigh. If you can hold for the calf, then do that. The knee can be bent if you need to. We're gonna drop that other leg down. It's just hovering above the ground. You can absolutely keep your head down. Otherwise, chin towards the chest, come up to that ab curl. Today, we're gonna inhale to float that left leg up. Exhale, drop the right leg down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, switch. Really tight in the belly. For four, three, two, and one. Good. Float the feet down, rest the head down, take a moment. Nice job, you guys. So now we're going to bring the uh, soles of the feet together, let the knees open out to the sides, and you can choose to support your head. Otherwise, if you want to make it harder, you're going to reach those arms, rounding the arms overhead. We inhale here. As you exhale up to an ab curl, reach those hands towards the toes. Inhale to lower. So we're just getting a nice hip opener here with our ab work. Exhale, curl. Four, three, two, and one. Good. From here, you're going to grab that towel roll if you've got it. If you don't have one, just bring your hands together, just as good. Otherwise, we're going to hold that towel roll into the hands as we reach those arms overhead. Nice and active, straight arms. Now we're going to add a lift of the leg. So the leg is going to stay in the same shape. Exhale to lift yourself up. You lift one leg up. I'm keeping the same shape of that leg and I'm reaching the towel towards my heel. Inhale to lower. Alternate those legs. Exhale up. If this is too much for you, you don't have to add the lift of the leg. Just do another round of what we just did. Four more here. Good. All right, so let's put that towel down. From here, we're gonna bring both knees over to the left. So we're coming to a twist. Bring your fingertips up to your temples or not lifting the head, but just gently fingertips to the back of the head. Exhale to curl up here. Speeding up just a bit. Getting into the obliques now. For four, three, two, and one. Woo! Other side. Twist it over, and then exhale just to curl straight up. Four more. Nice. All right. So from 
from here, let's actually roll over to one side. So you can prop yourself up onto a forearm. I'm stacking my shoulder right over top of my elbow, and I've got the, my forearm parallel to the short edge of the mat. Your choice to keep your feet stacked, legs straight, otherwise step your top foot over, and we're gonna press down as we lift up 10 times. Maybe you take this top arm away. So many choices. Good. All right, other side. So it might be a little different on this side, but again, we're gonna stack shoulder over elbow forearm parallel to the mat. Lift it up. For five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Good. All right. So from here, we're going to bring ourselves up. We're going to straighten out the legs and then I'm turning out, right? So if I face towards you, um, it's going back to like those Pilates stance feet, except our toes are pointed. So my heels are together, my toes are apart. Sitting up nice and straight, we're gonna round those arms forward and then hollow and scoop the belly, leaning back. Inhale to come up, open those arms. Exhale, round it back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. I'm keeping my feet down the whole time. Four more here. This next time that you go back, we're gonna go back to hold. You wanna make sure you're in a place that you can stay there. So if you're really shaking, just come up a little bit higher. We're gonna lift an arm and down. Lift and down. Use your core strength. Try to keep those hip flexors more relaxed. Both arms. We lift and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. One more. And all the way back up. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna bring ourselves back down onto our backs. And we're gonna work a little bit of a full roll up now. It's actually a prep for um, a more advanced exercise called the teaser. So we're gonna keep our knees all the way together and then we're going to straighten the right leg. Now the key factor here is to keep the knees together. Don't let it drop down, don't let it lift up. Like there's two pieces of Velcro, right knee glued to the left. Reach those arms back and then just for now, exhale up to an ab curl keeping those knees together the whole time. If you feel like your knees are separating, take that towel roll and bring it between the knees. One more here. Good. So that's option one. You can keep repeating that. Otherwise, we're gonna try and do a full roll up. It gets a little easier if you uh, bring your left toe a little bit further away from you. We inhale to reach those arms up to the ceiling and then exhale all the way up to seated. So you might need to hold behind those legs to come up. That's totally fine. Otherwise, arms reach. Same thing going down. You might hold behind those thighs and reach it back. Let's try a couple more. If you get to the point that you get stuck and you can't sit all the way up, it's better just to stay with the ab curl as opposed to rolling over to one side or using some momentum. Let's change our legs. Just ab curl to start. more. Maybe try that full roll up. Inhale, lift, exhale. Ooh. Might be different on this side. Good. 
One or two more. See if you can do one more. Good. Woo. Yeah. All right. So the next thing we're going to do, this is going to be our last thing today. It's like a variation of plank pose. So you're going to lie down on your belly and you're going to prop yourselves up onto your forearms. So it's a small, subtle action. I'm down onto my forearms. I'm actually going to bring my elbows a bit forward of my shoulders. From here, I'm tucking my tailbone under. Now, this is what we're going to do is called an isometric action where we're engaging but not really moving. So it's like the feeling like you're trying to pull yourself forward, like you're trying to slide forward on your mat. Roll those shoulders down and back. And then keeping tailbone tucked, start to lift your hip points up off of the mat. Slide your chest through the arms. Tuck your tailbone under. Lift yourself up off the mat. If this brings any discomfort into your low back at all, please just do a regular plank. Take a rest anytime you need. Try to lift your hips up high. Pull your chest through. Tuck your tailbone under. Lift your hips up. Lift the top of the thighs up. Three more breaths. One more breath. Woo! And rest. All right. Rest your head down into your hands. Just rock your hips a bit side to side. Good. And then it might feel nice to bring yourself up just to a sphinx pose, just relaxing, rolling those shoulders down and back. Slide the hands underneath your shoulders. Press yourself back to a child's pose. It might feel nice to bring knees and feet together. Rest the hands back and then rest the forehead down just to bring a little more roundness into the lower back. <sighs> and breathe, let it go. Bring your hands underneath the shoulders, roll up through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Nice, tall spine. Stack your ears over your shoulders, stack your shoulders over top of your hips, feeling that neutral curve in your spine. Roll those shoulders down and back, bring your hands down by the sides, turn your palms forward. Inhale to lift those arms all the way up, feeling that length in your arms. Exhale, bring it back down. One more, inhale, reach it up. And exhale, bring it back down. Good. All right, so you guys are all done your core work for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you still feel fired up, then maybe you turn some music on and get some yoga going or move your body some other way. So thank you.